Hello and welcome to this Let's Build series. In this episode, or in this series rather, I'm going to be building another newer split level, uh, meaning that this hasn't really been seen in any of my previous series, and I actually haven't really built anything like this before. I did kind of the front facade, but that's really about it. I mean, it's not a huge departure for any or from anything that I've done before, but it's still different enough to, uh, at least in my opinion, kind of warrant noting. So I'm just going to do four blocks here, it's going to be a two car garage, but it's kind of going to have like this pillar sort of thing going on here, as you can see. Now, as I said, I had built this, or at least just the front facade of this earlier, and I'm just using that to <coughs> kind of get my bearings as to what exactly needs to go where and how, basically. Would have been kind of nice if I had thought to kind of study it in greater detail, I guess, before knocking it down and building this in its place, but, oh well. Hindsight is always 2020. So I was just thinking a while ago, it has been almost a year. Well, actually, no, I think it's been over a year since I started uh, recording these videos and uploading them here. And, uh, boy, you know, it's, it's really crazy. I wouldn't have from having, I think, less than 10 subscribers to about uh, 170. And that, you know, I mean, it might not be terribly significant to most people, but it really is nice, you know, it really is nice to have a decent subscriber base. And I uh, thank you guys so much for, uh, for all that. Really appreciate it. It's really nice. I'm trying to concentrate here on what exactly I need to do build-wise on this thing. Because as I said before, it's kind of different, and I'm not really completely familiar with this exact sort of design. I mean, I, I guess it's close to something I built before, and you guys can probably see that resemblance in the choice of materials, but this thing here and the accompanying thing that's going to be over this part of it are most definitely not that similar. So, you know, I'll just kind of go with the flow here. You know, that's usually what I do when it comes to these things. Just see where it goes. If it ends up being too horribly ugly, I will probably just end up uh, getting rid of it. And this video probably won't see the light of day, so if you guys are watching it now, and if you can you know, probably see in the thumbnail, obviously, uh, <laughs> then uh, chances are I decided, hey, this is pretty okay. I'm going to keep this. Either that, or I put too much time into it to let it go, and it's like, hey, you know, I'm just going to do this. But I don't usually do that, so I don't know. Well, sometimes I do. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, so what do we got going on here? We got the uh, kind of big roof line, and I totally forgot about my timer. And now, let's see. Normally, these garages go back, what, seven blocks, I want to say? Seven or nine, I think. So we only got three here. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we'll just go for broken. Do nine. So that's two off of here, two off of here. Alright. There we go. Building with stairs is kind of a pain, I have to admit. But that uh, that reminds me, way back about two years ago, I used to build everything with stairs. I used to do all of the roofs with stairs, and they looked like crap, let me tell you. <laughs> And I'm really glad I managed to move beyond that, because those roofs look so bad. It's just, ugh. So how many blocks is this? So that's five, six, okay, seven, eight, nine, ten, we'll do eleven. So that's, actually, maybe that's a bit too big. We'll just dial it back a bit. Go for ten. I think that's ten, right? Is it? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so that's, yeah, I think that is 11 blocks here. I don't know. It works at any rate. So, brain farting with math uh, notwithstanding. So, this is going to be. That ends. As usual, I'm just kind of thinking out loud and babbling incoherently as a consequence, so... 
Yeah. I don't know. I've always been kind of a man of few words, if you will, and uh, having to actually concentrate as I do this is basically just exasperating that. So, what do you do, right? So let's get this roof situated before I get too much into that one. Yeah, these stairs are kind of a pain. Let's do it one by one here. It's like, you know, I can't just go back like this, because then they'll be all messed up. That's usually what I do with the slabs and blocks, but of course those aren't directional, so it's kind of a moot point, I guess you could say. And I just keep going on here, and there's the slab. There we go. I'm just trying to think, what has been going on with my channel? Not a whole lot. I am thinking of signing on with the network for a partnership, though, so... We'll see how that goes in the coming uh, couple of days as I go through that process. There's been a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, but that's kind of beside the point, though it does provide an explanation as to why the uh, flow of videos has been kind of intermittent lately. And that's just because I've been kind of bogged down with all manner of random stuff. So how's this looking so far? Looks pretty accurate to what I'm modeling it off of in real life. So, let's see. And obviously the roof of this one is going to be pretty different because of this big thing here. So, it's trying to think, how do I compensate for that? I know in real life these, you know, they have the roof going back up until it meets the peak of this part of the roof, but I don't know if this is quite going to go up high enough to reach that, so. Oh, actually, it yeah, well, looks like a little. <laughs> well, there we go. That's handy. Uh, what else? Or, hmm. Well, actually, I could just go... Mm. <laughs> this is unexpectedly difficult. I mean, I kind of expected to run into some hiccups with this design, but... What do you do? Right? That might as well be my catchphrase. What do you do? What do you do? It can't be helped. Such is life. I find myself saying that and variations of that quite a lot. Quite a lot. I guess it's just the... It's the product of what I call a healthy dose of apathy. Maybe a bit more than what would be considered healthy in my case, but... <laughs> oh well, alright. There I was, I was just about to say it again. I was just about to say it again. Uh, moving on... I think I'm going to kind of have the roof line of this part go down normally so that it can meet this one here. We'll just see how that uh, progresses and shapes up as we go along. Okay. Now let's just kind of do this as we go on down the line. Oh, that's right. Oh, well, this works perfectly actually. I like this. I like this a lot going pretty well so far, I'd say. Aside from it being nighttime now, which kind of stinks, but what do I say? Oh well, what do you do? <laughs> there it is again. Oh man, better slap a copyright on that. That's my phrase now. I know there are, like, actors and stuff that have put copyrights on, like, literally just common day-to-day -day phrases, but... I don't really know what those phrases are, and I don't really know how exactly one would go about enforcing a copyright on something like that. Kind of wonder. Kind of begs the question. Actually, it'd probably be helpful if I were to turn the brightness up to, um, 
right from Moody. So that definitely helps. That definitely helps. Uh, might be better for me to do it like this. Kind of bring this around and connect that. I think that probably would be the best approach. I don't know. What if I were to just bring it on down like a normal roof line would be? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I think that might actually work. And if I were to... Yeah, yeah, this works. This works. There we go, all right, all right, all right, all right. This looks pretty good, I have to say. I just have to bring this in. There we go. Now what else? Is there anything else that needs to be done with this roof? It looks like that's about it for that, which is cool. So let me just begin kind of filling in this side. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in this whole wall here because usually I don't have uh, any windows on the living or dining room side, just the door out to the patio from the dining area. And of course I can put that in once I get finished with the kind of preliminary laying out of the interior. So that's that's not a problem, not a problem at all. So I'm going to put in the window, and we'll go back behind this and put in more uh, Acadia wood. I don't know how that's pronounced. Acadia? I, 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 I don't know. I've always been just ungodly terrible with the pronunciation. I don't know why that is. Just, I always have. Especially when it comes to names. Especially when it comes to names. It's like pronouncing names and remembering names. Just, uh. <laughs> but memory has never been my strong suit, as I think I've said before. So that part is kind of to be expected. Alright, oh, here we go. So this is looking pretty good so far. So I guess let me just... Uh, Grab some wool here, and since I've still got like five odd minutes left in this video, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the floor and all that stuff. Put in some of the walls, and uh, that'll be pretty much it. So as usual, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, once the time is up, 15 minutes ish has passed. I'm just going to bring up MC Edit and put in the flooring and all that good stuff in the lower level. And do the driveway. Probably put in a fence around the property too, because it's just kind of a newer development. And the fence lines haven't really been put in. That house next to this one is still partially complete. It's mostly just kind of a shell at this point. I think. I don't know. I'll have to go in there and check. And I forget. I. There are so many houses in this world, I really can't even keep track of them. I really can't. I really should count one of these days, just how many homes and businesses and such I have in here anyways. Sure, there will be quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay, so now I love this dining area. Stairs will be here. One of the ones going to the lower level there and upper. Okay. Speaking or thinking out loud. Now let's go ahead and put in the ceiling for this part. Da, da, da. 
Trying to break up the silence a bit here <laughs> by doing some terribly out of tune humming of a particular song I have kind of stuck in my head right now. And I don't mind it being stuck in my head actually because it's a pretty good song. Pretty good. Okay, so this is pretty roomy for the kitchen. I think we might have sink there, stove here, counter, fridge. Yes, this is perfect. This is good. This is very good. And I think I'll go for the panel, ceiling sort of thing, or lighting in here too. So that'll be the usual redstone lamps along with levers and throw that in. Can't exactly fit in here, so. There we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's see here. These will be the bedrooms and I guess maybe I'll put the bathroom in here. Yeah, well actually no, maybe, maybe I'll put the bathroom here. Right next to the landing there. Or maybe, no, yeah, I'll put this one block further out. Bathtub will be here, sink and toilet, yeah. And maybe this big bedroom there will have like a master bath sort of thing. Which will be nice. Put in the window, and another window on this side for this bedroom, and then we'll build up the wall, like so. Window, window, and another window. Alright, that looks really odd from the side, but I guess that's not exactly what it's being graded on, right? I hope not. <laughs> I think it's just more about the overall look of the house and how exactly everything fits together. Which I think is pretty decent, all told. So let's see here. Master bath, which will be sink here, toilet there. I don't think pretty much it. Actually, now well, let's make this two blocks there. There we go. Then we'll put in a door. And that is 15 minutes. Thank you. Stop beeping. Alright. So yeah, that's 15 minutes, give or take. And uh, that's just about it for this video. Pretty much all the interior layout -y stuff, at least on the upper level, has been finished. I've built the whole facade and the exterior of the house. Actually, let me this so that the orange part isn't quite as obvious or showing at all for that matter and yeah so that's really about the end of it this is kind of a funky looking house but uh, i think it looks pretty decent at least at the moment it's pretty much what i was going for anyways so hey it works so anyways as usual uh, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed please feel free to leave a like or a comment or subscribe or whatnot uh, if not then please feel free to leave some constructive criticism instead what am I doing wrong? What can, what can I do better? All that good stuff. So thanks again for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next episode.